Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Thursday morning. Hope you're well. Hope you're looking forward to a good day of whatever it is that you're up to today. But it is also game day. I'm buzzing for tonight's game at 8.15 at home to West Ham. Hope you are as well. Um, I probably won't speak about it too much in regards to I've already done a preview for it. But, you know, if I do another video and... You know, maybe I get some team news that kind of gets leaked. I might drop it into that video. But from from what it looks like, from what I've said, is kind of how it's going to be. The only re the only thing is that Pape Matassar is unlikely to be on the bench. So I think I was still right on that. But just to give you an idea, on this video though, we're talking Samuel Ling Jr. and we're talking Calvin Phillips. It's probably not going to be the most popular video for some some of you. Um, but I thought it was very interesting, especially the one around Calvin Phillips. I think we're going to sort of start to maybe see Spurs drop out of this race. But I wanted to bring it in regardless because we keep getting our name attached, OK? Um, just want to say, subscribe to the channel if you're new. You're very much welcome to join us for this journey. And we're going to jump in. Ekrim Kanor, Sam Willing Jr. He said that Tottenham, Newcastle, Wolves and Fulham want to sign Juventus 20-year-old left winger Samuel Illing Jr., on loan in January, on loan. Now, I thought this is fascinating for for a few different reasons. So, for the first one, I think it's the obvious one is the loan situation because I talked in another video how it was, it was going to be around about fifteen million. Let's just, I think it was like fifteen and a half, but we'll just call it fifteen. Round it down. We're not going to round it up this time. We're going to be mavericks. Um, look, fifteen million for Samuel Junior in today's market isn't a ton of money, right? <clears throat> But if Spurs are going to go the loan route, that would mean there's an option to buy or an obligation to buy. You know, similar to what we've done in the past, which then obviously affects summer windows and the money that we spend there. It always has, it always will. It affected when we got Romero, Kulisevsky, Poro, it affects all of it. So, you know, you get them there and then in January, but it's that like you're getting good now, but you're paying for it later kind of vibe. On 15 million, it makes me confused. So it made me confused. And I thought, why is it making me confused? Well, isn't it a potential that Spurs go, Samuel Lee Jr., we're going to get him on loan with an obligation to buy or an option to buy, whatever you want to call it, for the summer. Or they do what they did with Porro and go, we we bought him, but we're going to give you the money in the summer. We're going to give you a little bit now, a little bit in the summer. Or do they go, well, we're going to do that because we're buying someone else in January. We need the money for someone else, you know, or because you know, that could be a Lloyd Kelly, for example, because what I'm saying is a Lloyd Kelly is you can't, you, he's only got six months left on his deal. He's not signing a new deal. So that, you know, he's going to be someone that you have to buy now or you're going to have to get him on, the, on a free in the summer. So maybe that's where they go, right? It's a brainstorm. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I'm just trying to give you the different potential ideas of what it could be. <clears throat> Or it could be a straight loan because Spurs aren't completely sold on him. There's also that, you know. It could be that Spurs go, actually, we want to get him on loan, but we also want to get another attacker in as well, maybe on loan with a couple of options on each, kind of decide which one we want, send the other one back in the summer, you know, get the other one on, on, on a permanent maybe. There's plenty of avenues to go there. So I'm, at first I was a bit like, oh, a loan, really? And then I thought about it, like, it might not be the worst idea. You know, obviously Juventus have got to play ball on this because Juventus want to um, sign players. And, well, if you haven't got the money from selling players to sign players, then you can't re-sign them. So it could be a mute point. But I thought it was interesting regardless. Um, on the Calvin Phillips one, right, so this is from Ekron Kanoi as well. So before I read it out to you, you'll see that our name isn't in the headline, OK? But the reason why I've included it is because I've talked about him so many times. We've been linked to him so many times. We'll probably be linked to him so many more times going forward. But I think this might be the, the first or at least the second or third nail in the coffin as to we're not going for him, OK? So like I said, Ken's from American Canoe said that Manchester City are expecting an offer of over €35 million Euros from midfielder Calvin Phillips. Newcastle United and Juventus are planning a January move to sign the 28-year-old England player. OK, so... You'll see I include, you'll see the Juventus thing in there. Samuel Ling Jr. might need the money from him to go to Calvin Phillips, by the way. Yeah. But on Calvin Phillips, what, one thing I would say is I actually thought he was younger. I genuinely thought he was like 26. It's mental. It's one of those that has crept up on me, whereas like Ben Davies, 
you're like, Ben Davies must be like 70 now. It's like, he's 30. God, he's been around forever. You know, he's only a few years older than me. Anyway, but on, genuinely, on seriously, on, on Calvin Phillips, look, I've been pretty fair on this. I think I said, look, if it was Calvin Phillips that you saw at Leeds, like his last full season at Leeds, then I'm like, yeah, let's go for him. But we haven't seen that Calvin Phillips in a few years now. Now, you know, I made a point, and I'm all fair for this. I made a point about Jota when I said, you know, his, his last good season was, well, it's not this season. He's that he's, you know, because of the Saudi thing. I'm not going to go into it because I know it triggered a few people. With Calvin Phillips, that body of work is more years away than it is for Jota, right? So I'm going to be fair in saying that, you know, that is a worry. Because if it's not, if, if it's a slight worry for me around Jota right now, then it's got to be a massive worry for me on Calvin Phillips. 35 million euros as well for a guy who's had injury issues. He's had a fair few injuries as well. He can't seem to play centre mid at Man City ahead of John Stones after watching last night. By the way, last night, I'm going to be, I'm going to be really frank here. I watched the... Um, I watched the Man United Chelsea game, kind of alongside the City uh, Villa game. <clears throat> Spurs with like a semi fit squad would beat Villa and City, not an issue. And Man United, well, we've already beat Man United. And had we not lost two players to, to sending offs and, not, and an injury, yeah, we would have beaten Chelsea, it wouldn't have been an issue. That not not great. Uh, what I watched last night was not great. But regardless, on Phillips, yeah, I, I see us now starting to distance ourselves from that because 35 million euros, talking about 30 million pounds. If Spurs haven't got a lot of money to spend in the January chance window, yeah, City might go, well, that's fine. You loan him, give him some money in, in the summer or whatever. But it's still 30 million pounds you've got to pay. In. And I just I just don't see the value in your money there. The only thing is the homegrown thing. That's the only value that you have there. But if you're just buying players of homegrown, you're not really doing anything that's very dramatic or good for your team. So I think we're going to start to see ourselves drop off of that race. It's not a bad thing. I think I think we should be looking at a different type of player. It's not to say he's good or a bad player, I just think we look we need to be looking at a different type of player. We've got some eights. We've got some tens who are playing as eights. We need a bit more of a Basuma six. We shall see. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Hope you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video if you did. Hit me in the comment section below your thoughts of his work on that Calvin Phillips situation. I want to know if you still hope that we're in that race or you hope that we're looking elsewhere. Who is it that you're hoping that we're looking elsewhere as well? I wouldn't mind having a few names here thrown at me. Um, obviously, we've got situations surrounding um, um, Samuel Ling Jr., let me know your thoughts and feelings about a possible loan deal. Would a loan deal interest you a little bit more than a permanent? I'm interested to see what you think about it. I know, just step away from a Jota or a Noosa. If it was just him on a loan deal, what's your thoughts and feelings? Want to know that as well. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification for more. But anyway, guys, send the video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.